What's up nerds and virgins, it's your boy Abe Crypto, and today I'm going to uncover common scams in the CNFT space and what to look out for in order to avoid them. This is beginner friendly, and if you're unaware of any scams and you're new around here, I suggest you watch this video. I also suggest subscribing to my channel if you want to take CNFTs seriously and you want to see CNFT content every single day, and I would also appreciate it if you could like this video. And while you're at it, make sure you follow me on Twitter, at 8CryptoYT, as I post CNFT news, CNFT discussions, and CNFT giveaways every single day. So make sure you follow me there to keep up to date with everything and to potentially win yourself a nice NFT. So if you've been following my channel and you've just been following the CNFT space as a whole, you'd know that Cardano NFTs are getting increasingly more popular. And unfortunately, the next logical step with anything to do with money or crypto is scams. Unfortunately, this is what happens and people try to take advantage of people because there's lots of money in CNFTs. So scams are all over the place, which is shit and anyone who's scamming is a scumbag. But good thing for you guys, I'm here to address a couple common ones and I give you all the tips and tools to avoid these. So if you're not familiar with the marketplace, the most popular one at the moment is CNFT.io and it's pretty much where majority of the NFTs in the secondary marketplace are, but it's also a common site for scams. So here we are in the marketplace and you can see the yellow ticks next to all the names of these NFTs, which means the policy ID is verified, which means it's legit and it's not a scam. So when buying in the secondary marketplace, always look out for the tick, the yellow tick. Now you can filter this by clicking filter and making sure there's a blue tick next to that verified ID policy status. The same thing applies with Tokun, which is another marketplace for CNFTs. And here I have you is a scam on the screen. That's so as we see, Monster Babes, verified. Criminal Punks, verified. Space Bud, nothing. And as you can see, all the legit Space Buds are verified on Tokun, but this one isn't. So what we have here is a dirty, no good scammer who's an absolute loser in his mum's basement, trying to scam a poor person of 2,588. So you, sir, if you're watching this, you are a fucking prick. You suck. So there you have it. There's proof that people are trying to scam on these secondary marketplaces. Even though these secondary marketplaces are legit, there's still scams that are posted on there. So how can you avoid this? You can avoid this by making sure the policy ID is verified. So on CNFT.io, you click filter and then click verified ID policy and then click filter. And now everything that will be popped up will be verified and will be legit and will be properly from the artist and not a scam. Same here on Tokun, you click verified policy ID and then click apply. And now you will no longer have scams popping up. This is really important in order to avoid buying fakes from horrible people. You can also find the proper policy ID in the discords. So with Dirtbuds, for example, you can go in the discord and you see policy ID here. So you click on that and then you'd copy and paste this and paste it into CNFT.io if they aren't verified. So a good example of this is with Mutant Crocs. So Mutant Crocs recently just was minted, but they're yet to be verified on CNFT.io as it takes time. So you need to look up their policy ID. So we'll copy and paste this and pop it into CNFT.io. And because it's not verified yet, you're gonna to have to unclick that verified button and then click filter again. And then it should come up with mutant crocs. And as we can see, this policy ID here matches the one in the discord. So therefore, that this mutant croc is legit. So always make sure you check this when a project has an unknown policy ID. You'll be able to find this out in the discord because they'll let you know that they're not verified yet. Even though they aren't verified, they're not always 100% necessarily a scam, especially when they're newly minted. But when you got the Space Buds one, for example, and with established projects, they definitely are a scam. So make sure you always just check the policy ID. But if that's too confusing for you, the golden rule of thumb is do not buy it if it's not verified. Another common scam is through Discord drops. So normally when a project is minting, they do it through their website, but some projects do it through their Discord drop. Especially if something goes wrong with their website, they resort to Discord. And what they do is they post the address in the announcement channel and they tell you how much you need to send so you can ultimately mint this NFT. But unfortunately, what I have seen in the past, there's members that post their own address in the general chat when this is happening, and then just spam this and tell them to send it to this. Especially when the drop goes from the website to the Discord, because the website fails. So it's very important that if there's a Discord drop, you only send money to the address in the official announcement channel, where it's a read-only section and only the team can write. 
so this way you don't send your address to some prick spammy in the discord i haven't necessarily seen this happen that often recently but a couple weeks ago this was crazy i can't remember what drop it was but there was literally hundreds of people spamming their own address in there and god knows how much money was sent to these people scamming everyone so if you're in a discord drop make sure you only send money to the address in the official announcement channel and nowhere else so Another thing to look out for is fake engagement. So what do I mean by this? So a prime example of this is where their Twitter followers are hugely different to their Discord followers. So this isn't really fake engagement, but it's a good indication that things do not look like as they appear. So it's not really a scam, but it's more of a deception. So I'm not gonna call any projects out or anything, but so say if you've got 8,000 followers on Twitter and then you've only got 500 members in the Discord, that discrepancy is alarming. That just goes to show that they've either bought fake followers or they've just done a ton of giveaways with shitty shield pages that have bots and loads of people from developing countries just entering these things, which means they don't have a real audience and this number is fabricated to make you FOMO in into minting their project. So how can you stay alert from this? Well, one, keep an eye on the discrepancy from the Discord to the Twitter followers. They should be roughly the same amount, maybe a couple thousand followers off, either above or below. And also keep an eye on engagement. So, so you see here on Nerds and Virgins, which is actually my own NFT project, I've got 3000 followers so far. And as you can see, I've got 166 likes on this post here. 38 retweets and 26 comments. So the engagement matches the follower count, showing that there's an actual real demand here and a real audience. You see on some pages, they can have more than 3000 followers, but they've only got like 10, 15 likes. So that doesn't really make sense. If these followers were legit and they actually are there for the NFT, they would have a lot more engagement. So that's a metric I like to look at. Another thing that I like to do is a follower order. So there's this site that I use, which I'll leave in the description, and you can enter a username to check the fake follower. It gives you a full audit report. So I'll do it with my own project. Let's see how this goes. So I've done that. So as you can see, I have a 97.11 real follower count, just under 3% fake followers, which I don't know how they got there, but yeah, that's a good number. It's actually 5% above the world average, meaning all my followers are legit. I'll just refresh this for you guys so I'm not scamming you. Yep, 97%. I haven't changed shit, so don't be throwing at accusations. So I've done the follower audit, and I've got a high real follower count, and I have good engagement on my posts. So therefore, Nerds and Versions is a prime example of a project that has real engagement. This is something I like to do on projects that I'm looking at just to make sure they're not botting their followers and also to make sure that their audience actually is there for their NFT and it's not just puffed up numbers to attract investors. Another way you can check if the numbers are just pumped up from things like giveaway competitions and all that, checking the engagement in the Discord. So a Discord can be botted and a Discord can kind of have fake engagement. So a way to check this to see if the community is big and legit is by going in the Discord and seeing how active the general chat is. So this, for example, a message just came up and there's been messages all throughout the last 10 minutes I've been here and there's literally been two messages and people typing as we speak. So that 6,000 user count that Dirtbirds have in their Discord is looking legit. And it's not just a puffed up number to trick investors to buy their project. You see loads of scams trying to do this because everyone knows that engagement is key. So if you've got 10,000 Discord members, 10,000 Twitter followers and no engagement, people don't really look at that. They'll just see the Discord members and the Twitter followers and they'll think, wow, they've got a demand for this. But in the end, they don't. So that's definitely something to look out for. So there you have it. There's a couple scams and a couple deceptions that you get with CNFT projects, the bad ones anyway, and a couple scams that people do on the secondary market. So here's some things to remember. Always make sure the policy ID is verified. And if it isn't, double check that you put the right one for the official Twitter or the official Discord of the project. Number two, Make sure that the engagement is real and the follower count is real. With stuff like comparing the likes and the retweets to the follower count and checking all round community engagement. These things are important to ensure that you're in a good project and these things are important if you want to buy off the secondary marketplace. So yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you found it valuable and if you did, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also like this video because it helps us grow. I'm Ape Crypto, the leader of Nerds and Virgins. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.